so nice to finally meet you. I'm a huge fan and, you know, obviously I followed your journey and your story for so long and to actually get to meet you is just such an incredible moment, not only for myself, but our charity, Pink Hope. First of all, though, thank you so much for having me and I'm just so proud of all you've accomplished and the transformation in healthcare that you are single-handedly responsible for throughout Australia. It's astounding, so congratulations. We all know you as Angelina Jolie's doctor who performed her preventative surgery. Did you guys have any idea that her surgery and then ultimately how she shared it would have such a huge global impact? It was our deepest hope that it would have such an impact, mm. so our dreams were realized. But you never know how mm. the reaction will be to something so novel. From the moment I met her, which was years before the actual operation, she did plan to go public about it. And she always had this really beautiful, philanthropic gift to give the world that she didn't have to give, but she just felt in her heart this duty really yeah. to help transform and save lives and that's what she's done. What is so powerful about it um, is the ripple effect, not only of the lives saved, but these families were devastated generation after generation thinking, what's this all when about? When will well, it end? Actually, it can end now. I mean, there is a gene and we can test for it and you can know and you can take surveillance Goosebumps steps. Tests, yeah. yeah, I mean, the, the children that will now have their mothers and so on, it's, it goes way beyond the bracket carrier herself now. Mm. It's so beautiful. If you had a, a message to a young woman or a woman who's watching this now that hasn't considered their risk, um, what should they look for? So family history, look at both paternal and maternal sides, three generations in both directions, right? So as people age, they themselves have children that could have children and then mm -hmm. there's an ovarian cancer and a grandchild and even though, you know, it's, mm. so you've got to think about all directions of the three generations. What are some of the simple things that we can do collectively to improve the lives of families like mine? I think we can make the test even more accessible. Mainstream it. I think we yeah. we can and we should. So you're this global spokesperson who really has directed such change. You're a game changer in this space. So seriously, thank you so much for your time. Oh, it's an honor. Thank you.